Okay, we're going to start our AutoCAD tutorial here. Um, now, one of the things I think you're going to want to remember, and this can be kind of hard, is right next to this deal that gives you all these uh, workspace formats so you can get to 3D modeling, 3D basics, or just drafting, drafting or go to uh, you know AutoCAD Classic, or you know save your current workspace, I assume. But right next to that is a little drop down list here and um, you know you can see that you know you got a hide menu bar well you know that's talking about this that's how I got that you know here or one way to do it you know is in this button if that menu bar weren't shown you know you could go show menu bar and then this will pop up And by the way, you know this. You can type in a cool uh, commands here, like line. You know, and it basically does searches involving that line command. So, you know, and of course, help pops up when you hover over it long enough. Um, and also, you know, here is your recent documents. And here's your open documents, um, which shows the documents that you have open in the current workspace. So this doesn't mean open a, a document. You know, that's uh, like here, for example. You, know, you could open up a document there. Okay, apparently, you know, if the, the ribbon ever doesn't show up, if you go down and just type the word ribbon, Uh, it'll show up so apparently sometimes it doesn't so <clears throat> okay when you're um, you know you got these little fly out menus um, if you wanted to keep them open you just push that pin so then they'll stay open um, otherwise when you take your cursor away from it you know it goes away <clears throat> alright you know um, it's kind of interesting you know if you of course, hover over something, you know, you get the, that, you know, tooltip show up, but you can see it's press F1 for more help, so if you press F1, you know, I do actually have help on this thing, uh, you can see the more extended version of it. Okay, and uh, this little gadget right here on the ribbon, um, you know, allows you to go through um, several different modes on the ribbon. So, you know, like this brings up, uh, you know, different tools this way. Um, you know, you can do it this way. You know, just click on them, I guess. <laughs> Um, or you can just hit this main button and it takes you back to your original setting and allows you to toggle between the two. Okay, um, you know, drew a few circles here using a couple of properties and a couple of different options. tangent tangent radius <clears throat> but anyway you know and of course drawing dimensions is you know a little cumbersome in a way but um, <clears throat> but the point is is you know what's kind of cool about these you know dimensions you know if you grab a handle you'll be able to you know, basically reposition them. Uh, but then you go down here to, you know, like paper space. You know, you can see that you got a viewport in here. That viewport can be resized. I 
as you can see, but um, okay. Now, when you're dealing with these drawing ports, um, you know you can like draw a title block in there. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the point is you can draw title blocks down in there. Um, now, on the viewport, like I was just doing earlier, if you click on its edge, you know, you can resize it. Okay, but if you double click on it, um, then you can zoom around. By the way, the middle mouse button by default is a pan key if you hold it on, so that's kind of cool. Um, and you just double click outside of here and you're out. Okay, and if you, um, <coughs> okay, if you, uh, want, you know, you can click on the drawing and change its scale right here, um, you know, so you can see the various scales that, you know, it might work at. I, I don't know what size I drew that thing, because I just kind of arbitrarily threw it, uh, in there. Our arbitrary threw it, threw it together. Um, it's a good scale. But at least that's a scale drawing now, so. Alright, let's go from paper space back into model space. Play with the command here. You know, it's kind of cool that it gives you those links, and, you know, just like uh, Rhino, I could you know, enter a fixed length, I suppose. Well, I guess that fixes the angle, too. <laughs> I look as I press enter. It'd be cool if that was automatically orthogonal. Um, focus is automatically on that, so, um, so it sounds to me like you're not going to be able to do keyboard input as efficiently. clicking, you know, on that command at least gets you exits out. Okay. <clears throat> this and hit the U key and that will undo the previous line segment so you can back out like that. Okay, some commands, you know, when you're drawing something like a circle Oh, I'm 
stuff on that tangent when I'm going to go to the regular circle. But if I enter like 2 and press enter, you know, okay, that gives me a default circle. I right click again to, to go back into that command. and But I can just press enter here and it'll remember, you know, you can see that it had 2 listed there. It remembers that by default, which is kind of like Rhino. But like I said, so far I got to say that. You know, I don't like this as much as Rhino by any means. You know, because Rhino, if I entered like five here, okay, you know, my line would still be uh, available. I mean, it's still not placed, and that comes in really handy. You know, but here you got to make sure your, you know, your angle is set first. Um, you know, before you apply the number, because it fixes it in place once you do. So.